Hi friends, Teacher Kim's gonna read you a story called Little Penguin's Tale by Audrey Wood. Isn't this picture beautiful? Little Penguin's Tale by Audrey Wood. See, this penguin's holding a walking can, and this one is way ahead. Look at all the footprints. And what kind of animal is that in the ocean? Shh, little penguin. Now don't make a peep, and Granny Penguin will tell you a tale of long, long ago. Once, there lived a little penguin just like you, just like you, except little penguin didn't listen to his grandmanny's tales. One morning, at the break of dawn, he snuck off by himself to find some fun in the snowy polar world. Uh-oh. Is it safe to run away from your family? Mm -mm. Up one hill and down another, he soon left all his friends behind. Look at me! Little penguin cried. I'm sliding on my tummy far, far away from home. See, this is his family. And look at the trail that he made. Now, everyone knows a little penguin can get lost far, far away from home. There's a grand nanny penguin telling a story. And can you find a little penguin that ran away? And then you see the ogre whale in the ocean? There's a little penguin. But he didn't. Right away, little penguin came upon a band of dancing goony birds. They were beating on tin cans and blowing tunes through empty glass bottles. Sound like they're making music. And look like they're in like a marching band or in a parade. Oh, the bird. little penguin had never heard such music. It tickles his beak and makes him laugh. <laughs> his feet began to move. Look at me, little penguin cried. I'm dancing with the goony birds. Now, everyone knows a little penguin can get into big trouble dancing with the goony birds. Granny was saying that. Look at that. What's going to happen? Hmm? You see the ochre whale lipping off out of the water? But he didn't. Soon. They all dance into a riggedy boat and sail out to the Walrus Polar Club. Jolly good, old oh, chaps, a walrus called. Do come in and have some fun, won't you? Hey, ho! the coony bird cheered. We will! Me too! the penguin said and he followed them inside.
Where are they going? Little penguin had never seen such a place. It was a mad cap club where animals gathered from all over the world to do whatever they pleased. Before long, he jumped in the middle and joined in the fun. Look at me, little penguin cried. I'm the wildest of them all. Now everyone knows a little penguin can get hurt when he's the wildest of them all. But he didn't. On and on they danced and played until even the wildest grew wary. Little penguin could hardly keep his eyes open. So he wandered outside and lay down to take a nap. Look at me, little penguin yawn. I'm falling asleep by the dark, deep, dark sea. Now everyone knows a little penguin can get eaten by a whale if he falls asleep by the deep, dark sea. And that's just what happened. A great whale opened its mouth and gobbled him up in one bite. Uh-oh. You see that? Poor little penguin. That was the end of it. You see all the little penguin crying. Oh dear, oh my goodness, don't cry, little penguins. It's just a tale of long ago, and I suppose it could have ended differently. Now, 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 where was I? Ah, yes, little penguin fell asleep by the deep, dark sea. Then a great whale opened its mouth and try to gobble him up. You hear the difference? <gasps> Look at the big mouth. I bet you could draw a picture like that too. But little penguin was too clever. Quick as a wink, he jumped out of the whale's mouth into the rickety boat. and sail all the way back to his granny and friends. But not, mind you, before the great whale managed to rip off a few of his very best feather. Did you notice that he has lost some feather? Hmm, you know which feather is gone? Look at that. Uh -oh. And that is the end of the little penguin's tail. This time he's at the end of the line. They're going home. The end. I hope you enjoy the story and you could write story of your own too. And remember, the story could have different ending. Thank you for listening.